So let's talk about how we can do some basic editing, copy pasting, and maybe creating some good practices when it comes to creating big jobs. And right now, um, um, just to, to kind of fill you in, I, I've created three different jobs, basically one to draw the outline of the circle, one to draw the box, um, and I still have our tri a triangle program that I did last time, but I also created a, 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 a part that outlines a box. Assume for a second that this is a big welder, maybe, and it's, and it's kind of just welding uh, beads on the lines or whatever. So, um, but let's talk about some basic editing because that will make your life a lot easier. Uh, so here's my triangle job. Again, always put the user frame number and the yield tool number because I actually created on each one of these planes a different user frame, which I'll show you in a little bit. But if I go through this basic job, notice I got two different speeds. I got 100% and 2%. Two, uh, 2%. And if I go through this, you know, basic thing, boom, slow, 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 you know, that may not be effective. So if I wanted to have a consistent speed the whole time or say I messed up and had everything be the same, a uh, different speed, I can do something called a replace. And I can replace all those speeds. Okay. So if I go into edit command and all these are under the edit command. Uh, line. So if I hit edit command and replace, I can actually modify the motion. Um, I can modify register. So I'm going to go to modify motion. Look, it says replace speed. And I got to tell you, it, it's got to say if it's joint speed, linear speed, circular, or circular arc, I'm going to go joint. And I'm going to go all, I'm going to go the all types here. And it's the percentage. And I can just change the speed value to be whatever I want. So let me just change everything to 50% just so you, so you can see. And once I hit enter, I can do all next and just go through each one individually. So if I hit all, look what happens. It only going from that line down. If I want to do the whole job, I have to go up to the top of the job and do that again. So just keep that in mind if you're going to do the replace. It's going to only go from the t from where you're at, the cursor, down. So let me do, uh, do that again. So I'm going to modify motion, or speed, joint all types, percentage, speed value, and I can type in my percentage and I'll do 55. And then you can just do yes, next, yes, next, just go next, yes, next. Yeah. And then you can modify that only a few and not all of them. Makes makes editing a lot easier. Um, so I can also change the, uh, go up to the top of my job and I can change the, the term over here. Say I wanted to change all these to continuous. Replace, uh, modify motion, uh, replace, replace term, continuous, continuous, and I can say continuous 100%, and I can then go all, you know, wait, something didn't, edit command, um, replace, uh, modify motion, uh, replace term, replace fine, then continuous with 100%. Place all. So yeah, I did it the wrong way. I said continuous 100. Well, you know, so you have to define that first with the term. And, and look, everything's hunky dory. And now if I run this job, you know, I go from yes, hit enter, go through it, and it goes through it faster, except for that one position where it's 2%. Boom, boom, boom. And it just went, you know, really fast. Okay. I could also, re you know, I can also replace the motion type. Say I want to make all this linear. Replace. Mod oh, back at previous, edit command, replace, modify motion, um, hold on. replace, register, no, I don't think I can modify motion, replace speed, um, yeah, I, I can't modify the motion type, I just got to go in and do it all directly. Um, so, but... I can also, but say I have a comp was just recorded something. Now I have this shape here, and I want to do it, do it a few times. I'm gonna show you the easier way in a second. But say I wanted to go in and then go out. Um, instead of re-recording all those points, I can make my and I say it's a comp. You know, we just have a triangle. In theory, you could re-record over the points, and because you kind of match things up, I'm not gonna worry about that. Let's go in and talk about um, paste, copying, pasting. And where all this takes place under edit command, copy and cut. Okay. So first things first, if you want to, you know, go to the line that you want to start copying. So my four, five, and my my um, four, five, six, 
excuse me, my four, five, six um, are my main um, copy positions, okay? Four is over, you know, four is up, over. So, you know, five, four, you know, four, five, and six. So it goes four, five, six, four, okay? So say I want to copy that and I want to kind of do it again. I have to hit select and now it's going to allow me to move my cursor to all the lines I want to highlight. And all that I do is hit copy, go down to where I want to insert this, and then I hit paste. You'll notice that there's three, gives you three options. Logic will just give you the logic without any commands. So let me show you. If I go logic, look, it just gives me the logic with those speed variables and everything without uh, any uh, position number. So I would have to go in and reteach that. So if it's a complicated logic setup that, that you just know that you just change the position numbers, you can do that. Um, if I go paste again, if I do position ID, that will, that will be the one that we would really want because it's in the job. It's going to assign the position ID and the logic to it. So it's not really copying the position, so to speak. It's just copying the position ID inside the job. Um, uh, if I wanted to get rid of a lot of lines, so say right here, I would go, let me go previously out, hit edit command, and I hit delete. And then I can just highlight the, the lines I want to delete. Hit yes, and boom, they're gone. Okay. So now if I run through this job again, I hit forward. It's going to go through this job. And I'm going to change that 2% next time through to like 55% so it speeds up a little bit. But look, it's going through that again. Okay. Boom. And because it's continuous, it's not really hitting the points. Um, so... So there, there we are. We just did it twice. But let's say if we want to do it one way and then go back the other way. Well, we can do a reverse paste. So I'm going to go in, and after line 8, I'm going to go in and delete all the stuff that we just did. Hit, I'm going to highlight my lines. Once that, that black cursor shows up, hit yes. Now it's gone. Now I don't have to copy that, so those, those lines again if that's the last thing I copied. I can go in hit cut copy and go to paste and I can still paste everything. But if I click the next key, this will give me the, my reversed every, this gives me my reverse options as well, where the, my R logic is this, is this the reverse of the logic. My R position ID is the reverse of the position ID. Um, you know, this is a, this kind of reverses, it keeps a position, but reverses the, the motion commands or something like that. I I'm going to probably stick with this or stick with this, but but um, let me click that one. And look, I have the same numbers, but look, it went 4, 5, 6, 4. Now it went 4, 6, 5, 4. It's in reverse. So if you have a complicated job, that was, let's say you have a, you're going in underneath things and you just taught this thing, instead of trying to reteach it out, you can just copy, paste, reverse, paste, and it's going to go back the, the way you came. And just to show you, let me um, go back, previous, edit command, replace, Modify motion, replace term, let me make it fine. Whoops, let me go back. Previous. Edit command, replace. Modify motions, replace term. I want to replace continuous um, with fine and um, all, oh, which I didn't. I did my fine. Uh, this is how I got a couple. I'm just cursor to over, change, scroll down. Enter. Yeah, that way you can see the difference. Not a big deal. So let me run this job. Shift forward. It's going to go through that job. And now it went the reverse way. Okay, pretty straightforward. Now we still have that other copied. Let's say, though, we want to take some code from one job and move it to the other. Well, so we already got it copied. Let me go and create a new job. I'm going to go to select. Um, let me create a new job. I'm going to go down to keyboard, call it paste just to show you, hit um, enter, hit edit, and now if I, now if I go into edit command, copy, cut, go to paste, guess what's still there? What I copied in my buffer, and I hit position, it's going to give me everything I just copy and pasted with the, new, the position ID of the next one in, in line. All right, and watch, if I do it again, 
you'll see if I hit paste position, it kept renumbering because it just goes the next one in line, even though one, four, five, and eight are all basically the same. Um, and what? And, and another, so, so let's just say I screwed up and pasted too much. If I go, hit previous out, get back to edit command, I can do an undo. And now I just undid that pasting. Okay. So that's how you would undo something. Everything is under edit command. I can also insert lines. So if I go to edit command and insert, I can insert lines too. I like doing this because it makes sure that there's spaces things out. Um, that's nice. If I go into edit command, uh, the comment feature is going to be for um, other things. I don't worry about that. If you want to actually put in a uh, comment in your job, that's under instruction and miscellaneous. And it'll be called a remark. And this is, um, so hit enter. And then you can actually put in a comment here. Come on, you can do it. Come on, computer. And there is a comment that I could put in to help make, organize my job a little bit easier. So again, that was under instruction miscellaneous. Well, now what may get confused, and, and that's the remark. Now what's gonna get confusing, I hit enter. I can go down a keyboard, hit that, and I can type in whatever I want, and I'm just doing gibberish just because. Um, what gets confusing, this is not the same remark as in right here. Why they do two different things, I don't know. But this remark basically allows me to um, – come on, you can do it. Basically, uh, overwrite, um, and, and not overwrite, but kind of jump over uh, some programming that I don't want to do. Oh, I have shipped on. That's why. So when you see the slashes like this, when you run the job, it's just going to skip over it. So if you're testing something, and you don't want something to execute, you use the edit command remark to get away from um, commands, you use the uh, instruction miscellaneous remark to put in comments. I know, I wish they would call it two different things. So now we have the we have, have these four jobs. Um, and I think for right now, I'm going to end this video because I think that's enough because that's going over the edit command feature. Um, I'm going to go in back into my triangle job just to point out something. You can see how some of these these or these numbers are off, off, off kilter. I have no one. I have no two. If I want, if if you're a little um, particular about numbering, you can click on the renumber, and you can renumber all those in, in kind of more of a sequential number. So if you've been doing a lot of editing and you have like 11s and 20s and 13s, you can hit the renumber and it renumbers everything. That's kind of nice. But that's everything that's in the edit command func feature. Okay. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments below.